Welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me again. And congratulations on yet another blockbuster franchise, Men in Black International. This, like, you are in every big movie right now. You're in Avengers, uh, you're in Thor, uh, you're in Men in Black. You're, at, at some point, you just, like, go to a cinema and just be like, all the posters, that's me. <laughs> no, never. Never? No, but I, uh, on my flight here, there were three of my films, and that, that, that was like a moment for me. I was like, what is life? This On is On the crazy. plane at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I would be going to every row in the plane, and I'd just <laughs> be like... To see who's watching it. My yeah, most I'll fa- make them watch it. No, my most favorite... <laughs> <laughs> my most favorite thing is watching... Okay, this is what I love to do, is watching someone decide what movie to watch and not decide to watch yours, or, like, put it on and then turn it off after 10 minutes. Oh, I would come back. But the guy, the guy across from me, he made it through Creed II, which is nice. Right. But he did, he was, like, he was, like, on his phone and he was picking his nails at one point. <laughs> he, was, he was definitely <laughs> bored. And it was during some of my scenes. I felt some kind of way about it, but it was you, okay. I feel like you should, you should surprise people, like, in, when, when that's happening, just pop up and be like, hey, look at me. <laughs> hey, Because te- that would, like, blow their minds. They would just be like, they'd think it's a, prom- they'd think it's a thing. You'd never forget Tessa Thompson if that happened to you on a plane. I probably should. My friend recently was in Washington Square Park, and a guy walked past him in a Sorry to Bother You t-shirt, which is a film that I made. And he was like, hey, I like your t-shirt. And we happened to be FaceTiming, so I was like, let me see the guy. And we, I FaceTime with him. And that changed his life forever. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you become an eternal fan. You can't, his you... name is Michael. He goes to NYU. Oh, well, there you go. Look, Michael, NYU. Now he's famous as well. Hi, Michael. Look at that. <laughs> um, let's talk about the new movie. I mean, Men in Black is a franchise that people know and love, and now Men in Black is international, even though they were intergalactic yeah. before. But the story has changed now. It's, it's, it's about aliens all over, because before it was just like, this is what's happening in New York. Now it's like, no, the aliens are everywhere. Yeah, it has a global scope. You've only ever seen the New York part of Men in Black, and now you get to see Men in Black in London, and then we, we travel the world, basically. And you get to act across from Chris Hemsworth again. Mm-hmm. You guys make a formidable duo on screen. Oh, like, thanks. Yeah, no, we've seen you in the Avengers. Like, there's comedy moments. There's, there's, there's moments where it's like, oh, these two are kicking ass together, and now you're <laughs> back together. Do you two just, like, know each other back to front now? Yeah, now we do, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. It's yeah, that was thing. a weird way to say it. No, just because, you know, like, you spend a lot of time with someone. You see them first thing in the morning. Yes. You see them late at night. You see them when they're hangry. Like, you get to really know somebody. And at this point, you know, the first time around, you're trying to make a good impression, and now we're so comfortable that you you're just stop doing that. So, you so, really get so to does know Chris someone. get hangry? Deeply. <laughs> but so do I, so it's good. Oh, because I was just going to say, that makes me feel better about his body. But he like, gets per... No, Because I'd be jealous, no, and then no, no. now I'm just going to be like, ha-ha, you're he, hangry. He does... <laughs> He do, no, no, no. He, it's because he does intermittent fasting, so he he doesn't eat until noon. Wow. I know. I pretend to do it sometimes with him. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so hungry, and I <laughs> I've had like avocado toast and a smoothie. What I love about here's what I love about your interactions on screen, not just with Chris, but the characters that you play. And and I mean, you know, in, in Men in Black, it feels like that again. Even in the scene that we watched. It feels like you take characters that previously could have just been archetypes and you've molded them into being, dare I say, complete human beings. Mm. You know, not just the girlfriend, not just the sidekick, not just the nagging woman, but it's like, no, a human being who feels and says and does everything and actually moves the plot forward. Is that something you do intentionally or is is that just the roles that come to you? I think I I think I try to, because... Who wants to be the nagging woman? Right. <laughs> That's no fun. I also, I don't know, for me, it's, I've never, uh, I never thought that I would make movies, and certainly big Hollywood movies, like all of those archetypes, like the, the, the hot girl. Yes. Or, like, I never felt like I could see myself in any of those archetypes, so I, I wouldn't stand a chance, in, in my own perspective, of making it in this business to fit squarely in any of those boxes. So, and I've been really lucky. It's not just me. I get to work with collaborators like Ryan Coogler, who wants me to be more than than just, uh, you know, yeah, than a, than an archetype. Right, just just someone who's in the background. And it's so it's so disgusting. But so much in Hollywood, women are just ciphers. You know, we we move the plot forward. And I'm really heartened that I've stuck around long enough in a time where. We audiences are demanding more than that, and Hollywood is, I think, finally listening. It's it's coming across. <laughs> when you when you look at Hollywood as a whole, and you see a poster like that, 
I remember a time when internationally you wouldn't see a poster with the black lead on the post. Like, I've seen posters all over the world yeah. where, like, I'd, I'd be in South Africa and America, and then they would have, like, the black actor on it. Yeah. And then you'd travel somewhere else, and you'd be like, wait, what happened to that person? But <laughs> you you are on the posters, you know? You, I've seen pictures of you in Japan. I've seen pictures of you in China. I've seen pictures... That's a big shift in Hollywood. It's a huge shift, but to be honest, I mean, the first film was made in 1997. I was 14 years old. Will Smith became a bona fide movie star. I would not be here without him. That's right. just true. And we can take it for granted now, but the fact that he was able to top line a studio movie, a franchise, and bring his black identity to it is hugely groundbreaking. Right. It just is. Do you think that's a big thing that needs to, like, shift is how people perceive the ability of actors who are black to be bankable as well. Because, like, everyone seems to get surprised. You know, like, Jordan Peele's movie that they go, did surprisingly well. And then, you know, like, yeah, something happened... That. that. always happens with, like, like with, with so Black much. Panther. They were like, Black Panther, what, it surpassed all expectations. Whereas it's, like, Avengers or, like, the, the you know, yeah. like, Captain Marvel, they'd be like, it predictably hit its numbers. Of course. That seems like it's shifting. Well, there has been this myth, this really antiquated, tired myth that Hollywood has held on to, which is that black and brown faces don't sell overseas, that they don't want to see us in China, they don't want to see us in Russia. I'll tell you what, I went to Russia, I went to China, they were very happy to see me, and I was happy to see them. And... <laughs> and my hope is that we can get to a space where a, a woman, and particularly a woman of color, top-lining a studio movie is not something that we need to celebrate or congratulate right. or acknowledge because it's just commonplace. And so I, my hope is that films like this help us get there, which is my soft pitch for why people should go see this film. <laughs> a thousand reasons to see it. You've just added one more to that. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much I for I love watching you. you on screen, love having you here. Men in Black International will be in theaters nationwide June 14th. Tessa Thompson, everybody. <laughs>